So late last night when some people may have been asleep or about to go to sleep, DDG had posted a series of videos uh, from his stream that he did sometime yesterday afternoon, pretty much ranting and reacting to everything that was going on with Joe Budden, pretty much did a whole three-hour stream dedicated to the man. And by the end of this and even right now, as of this recording, I can tell you right now, DDG lost a third straight beef. My turn! It is, you told me it was my turn. You can talk all that you want hey, to, hey, yell and scream, you okay, lost. It is my you turn. You lost the game. It's my turn. Take as long as you want, you're still lost. And this tweet is proof of that. When he put out, you start losing when you start giving a fuck. Fuck up. So when you say stuff like that, that means you admit that you lost to Joe Budden. <laughs> Because you started giving a fuck about what he had to say, and then you went on this whole spiel, and probably by the speculate what's going to keep going on, he's going to keep trolling Joe Budden with some diss tracks on TikTok, and that's going to be it. Like During the course of the stream, he reacted to everything that was going on. He was even saying that, uh, oh, I'm going to bring on extra Baxter to try to end his career. Like, as if you're the first person to do that. You are not the first person to do that. Many people have tried to bark up that tree. Many have failed. But I don't know if DDG is aware of this, but Extra Baxter, last I checked, says she don't want nothing to do with anything related to Joe Budden. Like, she don't even want to speak out against the man no more. She just wants to live her life unbothered. That includes you. Trying to go on this whole campaign of, oh, I'm going to get uh, Joe Budden canceled, guys. With, with stuff that everybody already knows, unless for whatever reason, DDG gets a hold of a brand new abuser or a brand new allegation against Joe Budden, like, I mean, now, then he's not going to end Joe Budden. I'm sorry. All these allegations that he brought up, and I keep dying on this hill, is from 10 plus years ago. Why does it matter today? He didn't do any time behind it. And I just want people to answer this question that I'm about to ask you. Simple question. Yes or no. Don't add no extra sauce to the burger. Did Joseph Budden do any time behind these said allegations? If the answer is no, then that means what he is innocent that's it if the answer is no he's innocent they seem to have a hard time to wrap, wrap their hands around that concept they think that oh well he admitted it on the breakfast club that one time or he admitted it in a song that that actually shows admission of guilt or he actually did the crime do i think it was wild for him to even talk about his toxic relationships that he had yes but it is what it is and besides, even if he did do the shit, again, it's 10 years old. I'm not going to keep beating the guy over the head with the same stick until it breaks. 10 plus years? Why do I have to keep reminding somebody of their wrongdoing that happened 10 years ago? Why? Tell me why. <laughs> Am I the crazy one? Like, why? I don't get nothing out of that. Like, I'm just going to, especially when nothing's going to happen. If nothing happened the first nine times, the 10th time ain't going to work, DDG. Give it up. Like, if you think these new, these allegations, which aren't new by any stretch of the imagination, is going to be the thing that ends Joe's, Joe's career and makes his whole community turn against them, you are delusional. And I don't even know if DDG knows this. Joe Budden... His podcast is backed by Patreon. There's people who donate money every month. God knows how much money to hear this man's opinion on what he says each and every week. So he ain't going nowhere. You can talk about views and numbers and all this shit. It don't matter if he got a bunch of people throwing millions of dollars at him. And please stop with this moral high horse. I hate when people get on this moral high horse of, oh, damn, I can't support Joe Budden because he beats women. But I bet your favorite rapper was talking about how he slid on his ops. So, like, what's what's the difference? You, you can't do this moral picking and choosing. You either cool with the shits or you're not. If you're not cool with the shits, then be 100% not cool with it. Keep the same energy over there. 
don't sit there and be like oh that's kind of messed up you want to support somebody who allegedly put his hands on a woman it's simply this we do not care we don't care as fans of joe budden we know how to separate the art from the artist so why should i stop watching him because of some shit that happened 10 years ago now i'll admit there was that one thing with him and olivia dope that was kind of weird and questionable but it didn't stop me from watching his podcast like i still like the content he produces like i know how to separate the two and until we get to to the point where joe budden actually loses it all he actually gets arrested for half the shit it's not going to go anywhere. So you're wasting your time trying to get any one of his exes. So you're wasting your time trying to get his exes to come on your podcast to speak out against Joe Budden because it's not going to go anywhere. Nothing's going to change. So I hate to burst your bubble. If nothing changed before and you wasn't the first person to do this, why would it change now? Because you're DDG? I, I get it. You're a well-known YouTuber who got it out the mud, who's been trying to make the rap industry take you seriously as a rapper because they don't take you seriously because they still look at you as a YouTuber vlogger. And you still should be on that mission to prove everybody in the industry that you should be taken seriously. Because I'll admit, you got a couple slaps. I like Moonwalking and Calabasas. I like the track he did with Gunna, Elon Musk. I like that song, but... In terms of this drama stuff and going back and forth with people, you've lost the last three. And this is the biggest one because of who Joe Budden is. Keep in mind, when you was just starting out and getting your feet wet on YouTube, Joe Budden was already a well-known podcaster. And that's the facts. Because if you go look at your YouTube stats back then in 2017 or 2016, whenever he really got hot, Joe Budden was already hot in his own lane y'all were both hot in your own lanes it's not one or the other y'all both are each other's equal so he can sit there and say all he wants that he's gonna beef with joe budden forever i highly doubt that and one other reason why ddg lost this is because of hallie's fans they're all rooting for joe budden i hope you know that i hope he knows that hallie's fans are rooting for joe budden if you think they're on your side you got a big storm coming they are not on your side they are looking at you crazy and goofy right now they are on his side just to spite you like it's bad enough the women are already not on your side as is see you pick the worst time to go against joe budden you pick a time to go against joe budden in the in the heat of the moment with a with a high profile breakup and you think the women going to be on your side? These women know Joe Budden's allegations. <laughs> and something else to keep in mind. If you go to Twitter and see this, this is the top post that's showing up when it comes to Joe Budden. It ain't got nothing to do with DDG. When it says Joe Budden is trending, it doesn't say with DDG as like a synonym or something like right beneath Joe Budden. It just says Joe Budden. It doesn't say DDG. And this is the first and only time that the Shade Room has talked about your back and forth with Joe Budden. The other clips that they have posted of you recently involving your podcast and stream has something to do with Halle. Ain't got nothing to do with what you said about Joe. You know why? Because Shade Room don't give a fuck. And also, when the Breakfast Club talked about you, they didn't even bring half the shit up you said about Joe Budden at all. Because people already know about the shit. They don't give a fuck. It's old news. <laughs> There's no point to keep regurgitating old news, especially when everybody knows it. At this point, I just think DDG just needs to focus on his career, focus on his vlogs, and don't get into it with online spits and spats with people because you've lost the last three. Joe Budden, Platboy Max, and Bruce drop them off. And that's a fact. With that being said, y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.